Hello, I am Private Dave, and I'm here with um, Delta Killer and Yo. Hi Hilo. Um, which is currently having mic problems, so yeah. Um, as you can see, we're in uh, the 8.0 uh, test server, and this is the new Panzer IV. Any comments about it, Delta? Since you've played it more, it sure feels like a Panzer III IV to me. Liz, a bit slower, but still good. Okay. Um, as you can see, it has less hull or, or turret armor. Sorry. Um, anyways, uh, a fast rate of fire. From if I'm correct, uh, Delta. Does it have a fast rate of fire now? Because you actually play it. No, it's still the same gun as a Panzer G4. Okay. It's exactly the same penetration and rate of fire. Um, it because it lost the weight of the big turret. It's it's not faster, but it gets up to speed faster. Oh, it's, it's definitely faster. However, somehow, even though losing the weight of that turret, it has lost two traverse speed. It went from 34 on 7.5 down to 32. Same hit points, though. Um, now, I'm not sure if the little side skirts on the turret will actually act as spaced armor and absorb hits. I haven't had the opportunity to test that. We'll, you know, test it after this. Um, Delta, do you like the tank, or do you prefer the old one? I definitely prefer the old one. The way it currently is, like I said, the Panzer III IV. If I want to play a tank like that, I'll just go play that one instead of the Panzer IV. Okay. Um, and this is. Matilda Black Prince, and it's definitely not winning any uh, beauty contest. Um, well, neither are you, Dave. You should talk. Anyways, as you can see, it's pretty much impossible to actually uh, circle this tank due to 34 turret traverse speed and 35 hull traverse speed. If the player knows how to move the hull and the turret at the same time, you will not you're not going to uh, flank this tank. It's just not going to happen unless you track it. Um, looking at the Churchill, it has less hit points. It's actually slower than the Churchill, and the engine is a lot worse. It also it, it weighs a good amount. Um, Definitely a lot less hull armor, uh, less turret armor, less rate of fire, but it's actually more accurate. Um, comparing it to the Matilda, which it's based off of, well, the hull at least. Same hit points. It weighs more, and the engine is a lot less. Um, lower speed limit, same traverse speed. Actually, same turret traverse speed, uh, higher rate fire, um, higher penetration, less damage, a lot less. But when you're pumping out shells at that amount, you're, it doesn't really matter. Now, this is where it gets odd. The hull is the same for front armor. Um, it, for some reason, has less side armor, but same back armor. Uh, less side and back armor on the turret, but for some reason has one millimeter more armor on the front of the turret. Um, Delta, have you had the chance to play the Matilda Black Prince? No, because I don't buy gold. And I'm cool. Sure you are. Anyways, let's get to the training battle. Um,
Let's team up on Delta. It's definitely not the fastest tank in the world. Anyways, do you want to test out the turret, see if it actually does have spaced armor on? You can try. Would you mind coming over here, because this tank is very slow. Also, feel free to uh, shoot at me and hit. We've lost a track. Or drag me. Anyways, if you could stop so I can shoot the track. That's gotta hurt. And yeah. We finished him off. That is not even close to spaced armor, so... Yeah, that turret is pitiful. Now, uh, as you can see, there's a new battle screen. Um, it shows what tanks you've damaged, uh, how many times you hit them for how much damage, and uh, it's not highlighted right now, but it'll show critical hits. Uh, tanks you spotted and uh, allies have shot, or tanks you spotted. It also shows the team score, which I have no idea what the shield means. If, do you guys have any idea on that one? Nope. I just skip it. And then you have the uh, detailed reports. Nine shots fired, six direct hits, six penetration. Uh, two hits received. And I'll show how much credits you've earned. That will be the uh, standard account. And then I'll show how much you'll get with premium. Uh, same for experience. And it shows the starting time and the time you die. Which is very nice. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess the shield is how much health you have. Um, as you can see, there's a new tech tree, which is very nice. Um, you can actually buy the tanks on the tech tree now. Um, yeah, you can buy them, upgrade them. As you can see, um, it will have a little check mark with what you actually own. As you can see, you can research it and then instantly buy it from the tech tree. Like so. And now that tank is elite. 
which is very nice. Um, also, if you haven't noticed, you can actually see the premium tanks on the tech tree now. What's your opinion of that, Delta? Opinion on what? The new tech tree. Ah, uh, it's good. It's gonna take some getting used to, but definitely a lot better. Especially yeah. these so the premium tanks. Yeah, um, then as Hi Hilo brought up, you cannot see the Chinese or the UK on the uh, tech tree list. That's because the UK hasn't been released yet, Dave. Well, I meant for premium tank. You can't buy the uh, British premium tank on the tech tree. Unlike the other ones. Also, um, it would seem they have added the beta tank to the tech tree for being able to be bought. Which is... Um, not really sure why you would want to buy it because it sucks, but whatever. Um, as we discovered with Delta, which for some reason loves the M3 Lee, uh, even though a tank sucks, some people can still love it. Right, Delta? Hey, I don't love it. I just like it. Two different things. Um, now then, the Object 263. Um, yeah, it's a very, very fast tank, as you can see by the speed limit of 55, great traverse speed, 32, 250 armor, um, which is good. Plus, look at, look at that angle. It's extremely bouncy. Um, I believe that if you shoot right there is 269 effective armor. Um... Pretty much the only easy weak spot, and I wouldn't really call it easy, is hitting there, that little circle. Um, even down here it's about 200 millimeters of armor. It's very uh, low to the ground, so a good chance of bouncing. If you want to shoot this tank, I would suggest shooting here, but mostly here, because it's giant flat, um, 100 milli millimeters of armor, and if you look at the inside, that's ammunition. So, good chance of probably blowing it up. Um, another probably easy way to take it out is firing HE at the side of the gun mantle, or firing it into the back here, the uh, crew quarter. Um, great view range, same as the Patton 3. Good signal range, great horsepower, uh, good hit points. Very heavy, surprisingly. Um, not the best damage, but it's good penetration, not, well, yeah, it's good penetration. Um, good ray fire, amazing actually. Um, not bad aiming time, insanely accurate. Um, that's, if I recall, almost as good as the Jag Tiger. In fact, that's better than the Jag Tiger. Yeah, as Hi Hello said, it sucks against Art. Um. So let's test this out. Now, Delta, if you can. Um, if you could try shooting HE into my crew compartment, see if it blows it up by hitting the ammo. Alright. And as you can see, the, uh, the new graphics are in effect. Um, I do not have the highest settings right now because I would lag out because it's a test server. And this computer is crap. No! 
move out. Was that HE? Punch right through their armor. Anyways, um, could you go over to the swamp? Just a sec. Try shooting uh, HE into the uh, the ammo. You might want to stay up there so you're higher up. Try hitting the actual shell. Not you. The main gun is damaged. We can't fire accurately. Did you hit my gun? No. Was that HE? That was a ricochet, lovely. Was HE or AP? We've lost some ammo, but at least it didn't explode. Yeah, that one damaged my ammo. That didn't even hit the ammo. Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. We're dead for! Well, it damaged my ammo, but I didn't blow it up. You can kill him now, by the way. As you can see, it shows the, um, how many tanks you detected on the battle efficiency. Damage caused, hits received, and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Unless you guys have anything else to add. Or do you want to just look at the uh, physics now? Let's get this show on the road. Now, um, something that is quite interesting now. You can actually get over to this little island over here by crossing the water, which you can do in the uh, 7.5 build. I might actually drown here because my tank's small, or or not. 
Well, except high island. But as you can see, there's a lot of cover. Um, you can actually sit back here without being spotted from over there. So if you're doing uh, assault, you can actually hide artillery back here. As you can see. Which is very nice. You also have some cover up here for tanks to ride. Which might be useful. Wow. And that is Delta suiciding. Also, um, the new map changes are very nice. I like how a uh, sand river actually looks like a desert now. What do you think of that, Delta? Mm. I hate when something gets my tank. And as you can tell from uh, High High Low's tank, inscriptions are actually in the game now, and, you know, emblem. Let's get this show on the road! And another good thing about the patch is the fact that more of the map is open now. So you can actually get down there, though why, I don't know. And if I c recall, you can actually go on the dunes up here. And as you can tell, a lot of this cover over here, like the uh, the hills we're used to, is gone. Which is going to be interesting tactics wise. Um, because you're going to lose a lot of cover over here. It's basically wide open. Also, there is no more speed limit when you're going downhill. You can get up to, I think, 90 or 80. One of our tracks is damaged. Our track is hit. It could break any minute. But as you can see, it's a lot more wide open now. Um, definitely less cover, which is going to be interesting to see how people cope with that. It definitely seems more natural, though. At least in my opinion. What do you think, Delta? Mm, definitely is more realistic. I'd like that. Oh, you can actually, I think, go up over here. If you can't go up alone, you can definitely get up if you get pushed. Which does work now. Which is a fun feature. We're immobilized! And there goes my truck. They blew off our 
We're Damn stuck. you. We're stuck. Penetration. Penetration. That's gotta hurt. Enemy is hit. We've had it. Let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. Anyways, um, that's about it for this, uh, preview. Um, until next time, see ya.